Let's respond to the ministry of God's word this morning by bringing to the Lord our morning tithes and offerings. stand and give thanks to God for all of his blessings to us. Thy kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. 
kingdom, and thy dominion endureth throughout all generations. The Lord of all is all and all, and raise us up all those that are The eyes of all wait upon thee, and thou givest them their meat in due season. Thou wilt bring thine hand, and satisfies the desire of every living thing. The Lord is righteous in all his ways, and holy in all his works. He will fulfill the desire of them that fear him. He also will hear their cry and will save them. The Lord preserves all men that love him, and all the people will My mouth shall speak the praise of the Lord, and let all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. Let's turn to the Lord, who is so gracious to us, and confess to him our sins. Let's pray. We thank you, Father, for the encouragements of your word, that you are a God who is slow to anger, that your loving kindness abounds over all. We thank you for your mercies to us and the way in which you have continued to watch over and provide for us. We thank you for the forgiveness of our sins. We pray, Lord, that you would forgive us once more for the sins of this past week. We pray that you wash and cleanse our congregation from all of its many sins. We pray that your spirit may work within us, that we might live more faithfully before you, doing uh, what you call us to do uh, to advance your kingdom in the world today. We pray for the forgiveness of our sins through Jesus Christ, in whose name we pray. Amen. <coughs> The Lord forgives us in these words. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Let's join to pray. Father, we thank You for the promise of Your Word that You are ready to forgive our sins. We thank You for the assurance that we have that the work of Christ on the cross is effective to cleanse us from all our sin. We pray that in the strength of that forgiveness, in the strength of the renewed grace that we have, in the power of your Spirit, you would help us to live before you in your everlasting on us. We would ask that you would teach us to pray, even as our Lord taught his disciples to pray, saying, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Our final hymn is in Sweet the Moments, Rich in Blessing, number 189. And we'll stand the same.
Now may the God of peace, who through the blood of the eternal covenant, brought back from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, equip you with everything good for doing his will. And may he work in us that which is pleasing to him, through Jesus Christ, to whom be the glory forever and ever. Amen.